Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do an edit of this uh, little picture here of some wild horses. And um, it, it was taken from a long way off. This is the EXIF information which you can get from View and Studio. But you can see it was ISO 1000, so there's a bit of noise in there probably. Thousandth of a second and the aperture f6.3 so and the camera was probably wobbling a little bit because it was fairly handheld it was just on a monopod so if you go into these things here you can see the sort of picture it is you might get some of these yourself where it's sort of like a fairly crunchyish sort of edge so what i'm going to start off doing is i you can see the pixels along here even so i can start off with a micro blur just to Turn the radius up just a tiny amount, just to soften off those, because if you sharpen it on top of those, that'll just get worse. And then I'm going to do a high pass filter, the monochrome, and go into linear light. Turn up the radius just to bring that. You see, once you got it's like going too far, you get in this darkness down here. So I'm going to turn that up just enough to get a little bit more sharpness in there. Factor one and a half, even over, I seldom go over one, but let's put it at one and a half there. Right, so let's go out here. Now then, what I'm going to do is to do a little bit of cutting out of all these here. So I actually want a stamp layer, as it's sometimes called. So I'm going to right click on the background and go to merge visible which will indeed just turn those off because this gives us all those things squished together go up to the selection brush and I'll just select this bunch of horses I don't have to be too careful about it because it's just going to be to put some effect on it and you're not going to see the difference about it all let's go along the bottom here down the middle Let's have a look at what we've missed. A little bit up there. And just get make sure we've got the edges in there and the hooves. And then we're going to do a quick refine. And what we get here is obviously all the grass under there. So I'm going to make the brush a lot bigger and just paint, paint down there saying, please sort this lot out. It's going to do a bunch there, and there's a bit there. I need to make the brush a bit smaller today, and this bit too. And that'll do. I'm not going to go into great detail of it, and you'll see why in a moment. So I've got these collect connected here, so I'm going to go Control C and Control V. So I'm going to paste a new layer here, then I can hit Control D to get rid of that. And there's the horses, and it's good enough for what I want to do with it. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the tone mapping. Because in pictures like this, it's often a good idea if you, if the edges aren't great. And even with this, there's a lot of texture in this and the horses and so on. And so I'm going to play more with, with, with the texture here. It comes with tone compression all the way up. I'm going to turn that down. because I'm just going to use local contrast. If you turn that all the way up, you can see the kind of effect it gets. So let's go down a bit until it's you're still getting some of that effect but not as much as before and then accept that and see how that applies on the background so we've got the horses here standing out a bit more it's a little bit different isn't it but we're going to worry about that because if you make the uh, 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 this sort of cut out too different it just looks odd so what i can do here is one thing I can do is turn down the opacity just to control the effect. And another thing I can do, and let's try it, I'm going to go to the blend ranges and effectively if I bring these down here, what we get is well, that's made it all invisible because this goes from dark to light and from opaque to transparent. Now if I pull in the middle, it's just going to apply it a bit more to 
Here we go to the mid-tones more so I can get less of the darks and the lights in there. So you can constrain how this effect is being applied. And that's not as strong because it's not bashing into the darks and the lights as before. Although you can always bring these up to see if we that's going to make any difference, but it gives more emphasis to the mid-tones. Okay, that will do. And so what we're going to do now with this, let's turn that one off. Here's our picture of horses. And let's do a bit of motion blur. So I'm going to do a uh, control J to duplicate this because I can put the motion blur on top and go to the live filters, motion blur, and turn the radius up here. I don't want to click the preserve alpha because that will stop it appearing outside of the shape there, though you're going to get a bit of that. And that's okay. I'm also going to, when I've got it here, that's on the motion blur here, I'm going to paint on that mask with the black and white here paintbrush to the black. No, I know it's just going to, yeah, it's painting on the black to get rid of. Here we go, the bit with there. You don't want it coming out on the leading edge. So just around these areas here, quick remove of the leading edge effect. So it goes behind the horses, not in front of them. There you go, that's enough. So now then, I am going to background on. I've got this blur on here, so I'm going to turn this down just with opacity. So I get the as much effect I like. So there's a bit of movement in that. So there we go. I've got some some action going on there. Let's work on the background. So I go back down to the background layer. Um, I'm going to put a little clarity just to match this. I've got, got the local contrast in this. going to put a bit on the background there. So I'm going to go to Live Filters and Clarity, which adds local contrast. If I turn that up, you can see what's happening there. The, you see it looks noted with the grass in particular. That comes up and you get that slightly local contrasty tone map to effect. But not overly done, just a bit there. That's good. And I'm going to shift the click to the top and shift click to the bottom basically and hit control G, which groups everything. And so I'm going to apply then curves to the whole thing because I think it needs a little bit of lightening up. So I pull that up here. I want to preserve some of the dark, so I'll pull that back down so there's a bit more light. That's a bit overly done there. We'll bring that back there. And on the background, let's open up again, go back to the background one. And I'm going to put an HSL on that because the background's kind of overpowering us with the colour a bit. So what if I bring down the saturation overall there. If I click on the yellow as well, get the picker and pick on the that yellow there because that's intruding a bit. I'm going to pull down the yellow as well so it's not quite so much which is also will take down the grass a bit so that the horses have no more prominence and overall there's our picture uh, it started off as like this and then we changed it to be like this so there you go full edit particularly focus on some of the local contrast things thank you very much for watching